To make a classic pizza, you have to make a classic dough, and it's all about the dough. That's what's that's what makes a pizza so You're good. You're quite a classic guy, aren't you? So um, sounds good. Cl classy <laughs> or classic? I don't know. One of those two. A little but bit of both. I'm going to make something a little bit different. I'm going to put a little bit of milk in my all dough right. to start with, and I've got 100 mils of milk here that I'm going to warm up just a touch. I've got a little okay. pot on here. I want to activate the yeast. That's yep. the important thing. I want to get the yeast going so it uh, starts to foam up. So when it hits okay. the dough, it starts to make it rise and bubble, and all the nice things happen <laughs> to it. You are. Oh, <laughs> pizza, and you can see behind me in the oven, I've already got the pizza stone in there. I which, did see that. Which that got, I'm excited about. You know you're going to make nice pizza. So there's about a tablespoon of yeast in there, yep. and I'm going to put about a teaspoon of uh, of sugar. Okay. Um, I like putting a bit of sugar in there. This gives yep. the yeast something to feed off. You know, it's important to remember that yeast is a culture, and the culture does need to eat something. So that's why it works better when it's got some flour or sugar or something of the like. So I pour the milk in there, stir it around, get some of those lumps out of it, and I'll leave the spoon in there. It just takes okay. a couple of minutes. It'll foam up, and that way the, the yeast is ready, it's activated. Now, in here I've got 500 grams of pizza flour, which is nice and strong, because you want it to hold together. And what I'm going to do is get you to sift that all the way through, and I'm also going to put uh, a good pinch of salt in, but I'm going to, I'm going to sneak the salt in around the side here. There we go. And I've also got some warm water here. I find by using warm water, it uh, allows it to prove a lot faster and it gets it going. You can use cold water if you want, but warmer just gets it going. Or another thing you can do is put it on an electric blanket. I'll show you how to... Yeah. This is what I do. I just tap it like this and it goes through. There we go. You need a lot of muscle with this one. It just felt like it was shaking the baby a little bit too much. It felt a bit strange. That's, I was watching you do that thinking, oh, my goodness. I better give her a hand here. You always sift the flour. It makes it, it, makes it light and fluffy. Now, I'm just going to make a hole in the centre here okay. and I'm going to put uh, about 200 mils of warm water straight into here. Okay. Make sure I've got the right amount and what I'm going to get you to do so is just stir that around yeah, I can do that. and you can see it's just the, the yeast is already starting to foam up just a little bit I should let it sit mm. there for you know five to ten minutes and let it really foam up but this is going to happen really quickly in goes the yeast I'll just make sure I get all of that lovely yeast into the bowl there, so it's all starting to come oh, alive. You can really smell it, can't you, the yeast? What I try and do is make it in a bowl, so you sort of get it together, and then once it gets tough like it is now, like, yep. uh, like, like quite hard, I just tip it onto the bench. So oh, I'll grab that you. off you and just wipe down that spoon, and this is what I do. Just sort of start to put your hand in there and, you know, work it together. You want to make sure all the flour and all the bits and pieces go into that dough. And you can feel it's a beautiful warm dough. I tip it all out and this is where you need it. What you want to do is stretch it out a little bit and make sure it's all mixed in together beautifully. I mix it around for a couple of minutes to make sure that it's all worked in there. Make sure I get every single little bit of this dough all the way in here. Doesn't take long at all. What do you think of that? Let me have a little feel. Nice Perfect. and stretch. It's quite stretch, you know. It definitely is warm as well. It is. It yeah. feels nice. Now, what I'm going to do is just pop this straight back into the bowl there. Yep. A little bit of cling film on top. There we go. Now, this is what I think a pizza station should look like, Zoe. Have a look at all, all right. this stuff. My vegetarian didn't... Uh, stack up, did it? Well, <laughs> it's nice and I could understand what you were doing and what you were trying, but, you know, if you're going to make a pizza, this is this is how I like to do it. Now, I've just let it rise so you can smell it's yep. come up. You've got that beautiful, strong, yeasty sort of flavour. And what I'll do now is cut that in half. I'm going to make a big, thick pizza and I'm going to okay. do it straight on my uh, on my pizza board here. Ooh, bit of semolina nice soft, here. isn't it? It that, is. That dough. Now, you know, I always try and make a pizza with my fingers. You know, eat it with your fingers, you make it with your fingers. And I just tap it around with, you know, just tap it around to the edges. I okay. like a pizza to be a little bit sort of rustic. And I don't mind a little bit of thickness, but I've okay. got a really, really good uh, pizza stone in the oven, so that'll crisp it up so it's nice, nice and firm. Lovely. Now, this is the fun part. And if you've, yeah. got, if you've got friends around and you've made your pizza bases up, this is where you can really sort of get creative. I've got some, uh, I'll just sort of run through it. I've got some tomato passata here. You yep. can use freshly topped tomatoes. Not too much tomato on there, but I like to get it all the way to the edge. This it's... is definitely something you can get the kids involved in. It's so creative. It gets them using different ingredients. And you can sort of throw in a couple of ingredients that they might not use because it's pizza. Well, they probably don't want to put this hot salami on their <laughs> pizza because not a lot of kids like that. I like a little bit of red onion on my pizza. Now, if I ever do get invited to your house, Zoe, yes. this is a really good... Uh, this is a... what you want, is it? Well, it's sort of like me saying, this is, this is what I want on my pizza, exactly. Now, I've got some anchovy or hairy fish as 
as uh, some people like to call it. Sprinkle that around as well. And I've got some Gruyere cheese. Ooh, yum. I love Gruyere yeah, like cheese. Gruyere, quite strong, really sort of robust flavours. And oh. I've also got a chilli. Yeah, I what I that. want you to do with that chilli is slice it in half from, okay. from about there all the way down. And I'm going to put that in the middle of the pizza. Mozzarella right. cheese, you have to have some of this on. What I love about the mozzarella cheese is it goes really gooey and stringy. I'm going to put heaps on here. I've got this chilli. I'm going to put this right in the middle here, okay. just so everyone knows that this is a chilli chili hot pizza. Now, this pizza is not for the faint-hearted at all. <laughs> this is for serious aficionados, people who love their pizza, chilli, salami, all the good things on here. Now, this has got to go in the oven. It's red hot. I'm just foaming at the mouth waiting to eat this. <laughs> Zoe, I think it's so good it should go into a pizza box. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> I know this is your kind of pizza. Oh, Look, I love it. I'm definitely going to try it. Oh. I like a little bit more of a vegetarian oh. topping <laughs> or just vegetables in general on oh. mine. But I would never disrespect your pizza love. I, and... didn't, I didn't hear a word you were saying. I, I was just that. busy chopping into this pizza. I love it with a bit of cheese on there. Here we go. Mm. Mm. You know what? The base, you can really taste the yeast, it's fluffy. Wow, that uh, salami's got a bit of a punch to it. <laughs> this is a boy pizza, but Adrian, you, you know, you're all man, darling. Definitely a pizza for you. Well, I reckon we'll finish this off, and then Zoe, I've got something sweet for you, I think you'll like. <laughs>